Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making a, a video on how do you differentiate right and left all the bones in a matter of few minutes. I don't want the students, I don't I'll not use any tough words which are used in this is only for the exam and viva and the spotters for BPT and MBBS students. Let's start with the scapula. Uh, this is the scapula, right? Okay, when you get the scapula in your hand, remember, it's very easy to differentiate between right and left. Always keep the spine of the scapula towards you, not towards the examiner. When you keep the spine of the scapula towards you, automatically, that's it, it's on the table, it's lying on the table, right? You just lift it, and this is not the position to hold, wrong. You're going to hold it like this. When the spine of the scapula is towards you, immediately, that's it. This is not the way, right? The inferior part, the medial border, should, is this the way you need to keep it? When you keep like that, the glenoid cavity will point towards the uh, lateral aspects, even the spine. The glenoid cavity will point towards the lateral aspect. So, if this, this will be the right scapula. Very easy to differentiate. This is the right scapula. It's uh, uh, the glenoid cavity pointing towards the right. So, the humerus will come and articulate it here. Right scapula. Let's see the left scapula now. Okay, you can see this is the left scapula. The I cannot, it cannot be right. So, the I'm keeping the spine of the spine, uh, scapula at the back side. And you can see the glenoid cavity pointing towards the lateral side. This is the left scapula. So, always remember the, hold the bone to the hand it belongs. The right scapula and the left scapula. This is the right one. This is the left one. Next one, the humerus, one of the most easiest bone for us to uh, differentiate. Humerus is a uh, long bone, typical long bone, having a head, anatomical neck, surgical neck. And here, I will not go into all those things, just to observe for something called the olecranon fossa, this one, the whole, what you get. This will be towards you. When you keep the olecranon fossa uh, towards you, see, this is the olecranon fossa. Sorry, the camera is not that good uh, fuse. When you keep it like this, automatically come and see the upper part, where the head points. It will be pointing towards the medial aspect. So, this will be the left humerus. If you observe, this is the left humerus, okay, the olecranon fossa towards you and then just check the head. It's the left humerus. I'll keep it here. I'll take a comparatively. Yeah, this is the olecranon fossa. Again, the whole what you see in the back side. Let's go top to the top now. When you keep it like this, you can see the head is pointing towards the medial aspect. It's the right humerus, okay? The right one and left one. Please observe down. This is the right one and this is the left one. Very easy to differentiate. Next, I'll take the radius. Radius is a typical long bone with the head here, the neck, the radial tuberosity. It's very easy to identify the radius. I'm giving a short method. Always hold the head towards you, this one, towards you, and then... It has, just check for the smooth surface here. Can you observe? Yeah, just you can, in the posterior side, you will see something called as tubercle of Lister. This is the, something called tubercle of Lister. It is palpable. It should be in the back side, in the inferior aspect. Easy method, just it's a bone kept here. Just take it up and the head towards you. Uh, don't worry about anything. Just keep the smooth surface above you. Wrong, wrong, no, this is not the way. Keep the smooth surface above you. When you keep the smooth surface, radius has a very sharp interosseous border, what I am touching now. No other borders except the interosseous border pointing towards the medial side. So if this is the radius, which I have kept it here, and this is the uh, uh, smooth surface and the tubercle of Lister down, down, and the medial border. Okay, so this is the right radius because the head will be towards you. The head will be towards you. The smooth surface here will be tubercle of Lister and down. The sharp medial border, it also called interosseous border. And this will be the right radius. Let's, let's compare with the left radius. Okay, the head is towards you. The smooth surface is here. Tubercle of Lister in the down. You can see the sharp interosseous medial border. It's the left, left radius here, right radius. Right radius, left. Alna. Alna is a typical long bone. Keep the or this particular notch on the your side. Your side. Wrong. This is the wrong way to hold it. This is the wrong way to hold it. Wrong. Wrong. This one. The notch which goes to the humerus attachment. Olecranon foresight goes to that. It should be facing forwards. When you keep in the rear, Alna, it's U L, right? Easy way to remember. L for lateral. When you keep like this enough, you can observe the sharp interosseous border, the lateral border pointing towards the lateral side. Obviously, it will be the right ulna. 
because it's lateral, it's going away from you. At the same time, take this particular ulna, okay, this particular ulna here, and uh, you can see the lateral border is now. This one towards you, this one is towards you, and the lateral border is now just going towards the lateral side. This is the left ulna, this is the right ulna. Please observe this thing. Very simple it is. No difficult. I made it very simple for you people to understand. Okay. The lateral border going away. When you keep it this way. Le right one. And the lateral border going this side. There is a lateral side. In, when this particular part is above you. It will be the left alna. Right. Left. Next is pelvic bone. Pelvis is a typical bone. This also is very important bone. It's uh, very important to differentiate between right and left. It's very simple actually. If pelvis has many parts, it's a composition of three bones. I'll not go into much into that. Just ensure that acetabulum or in local language, the cup what you see is outside facing the examiner. This cup should be facing the examiner and then the pubic symphysis, this is the pubic symphysis, it should be on this particular, uh, in the central aspect and then hold it with your hand like this. Can you see this thing? Hold it with your hand like this and when you hold it like this, it completely fits in your hand. This is the right pelvis. Wrong way to hold it, no, you cannot even hold it also, you can observe. And you cannot hold it like this. It will not give you a characteristic grip. Just when you go like this, the right pelvis is like that. When you hold it like this, it comes and the acetabulum outside or the facing outside, pubic symphysis in this medial aspect and you got the right pelvis. Compare with the left pelvis, you can observe here. Left pelvis, I'm holding the pubic symphysis towards the medial aspect. Neatly my hand goes and locks inside this. Okay, then this is the left pelvis. It just goes towards the left hand. It cannot be right one. I'll try to show you that same way. Acetabulum cannot come towards you. It has to go towards the examiner. This is the right, left pelvis and this is the right pelvis. Just I'll uh, keep it acetabulum facing outside. So you can observe. You get a typical pelvic look here. Okay, the pubic symphysis is both. This is the right pelvis. Hold it the right hand, left one. And uh, to con not to confuse you, the right pelvis cannot be left one. See here? I can't, I can't do like this. I can't do like this. It's just, it goes, this entire notch, no? It just goes and locks in your hand. Right and left pelvis. Femur, perhaps the easiest bone for you to differentiate. The condyles will be posterior. The middle and lateral condyles will be posterior. When you do like that, automatically, you will see the head of the femur pointing towards there. So this will be the right femur. It goes towards the middle aspect, right? The head should point towards the middle aspect for the acetabulum. So this is the right. The condyles towards you and then the linea aspera towards you perhaps and this head will go. This is the right pelvis, sorry the femur and then the left femur will be very easy, very easy. The condyles backside towards you and just to see the left pelvis, it points there. It cannot be right. If you're trying to do like this, the, con the condyles cannot come like this. Okay, this they have to be, they cannot be come towards your side and this cannot go to the front path. The condyles, the, this patella, where the patella articulates, it should be facing the examiner, okay, facing the examiner and the condyles towards you, you can observe the right femur, left femur, exactly here. This one facing towards you, you get easily the right and left one. Tibia. Tibia is one typical long bone, a triangular type of a bone. It's very easy. This is the tibial tuberosity with a sharp anterior border. Always remember the sharp and this is the lower part. So this is the upper articular surface. This is a way to hold it. And then you ensure that the anterior sharp border faces the examiner. It's complete like this. Okay, it faces the examiner front aspect. This will be in a posterior aspect. When you keep like this, the sharp anterior uh, border facing the front aspect, when you just go down, you'll see the medial malleus. This is the medial malleus, what I'm touching right now. Just observe. Keep the sharp border and just to go down, you will see the medial malleus. So this is the right tibia, right? This is the right tibia, sharp, the medial malleus. The left tibia is very easy, the, the sharp border front, and you will see the medial malleus pointing towards you. And this is the left tibia. Medial malleus, la, medial malleus both side, the sharp border front, right tibia, left tibia. Medial malleus, it just comes, medial side, right? So it has to come to the medial side. That's how you differentiate between right and left one. This one, anterior border, sharp front, enough. 
No need to do any article, just you can observe. See, it, this right one cannot be left one, I'll show you. I'll try to make the anterior border backside. Can you see? It gives me a wrong thing. So wrong. This one, the sharp anterior border, front. Automatically, it will tell you. Right and left. Fibula is a very typical long bone, also called a sperona. Now, fibula is kept like this. You, it's very difficult to make out which is right or left. So, always go for the something there is in uh, if tibia has got medial malleus it will have a lateral malleus so the size you can observe in snaky tire snake hood type of a thing always it should be in the top this cannot be in the down so the down you can see a lateral malleus but still how do you differentiate uh, fibula is just a very typical long bone it has uh, always hold this particular um, lateral malleus in your arm in this malleolar fossa you can observe malleolar fossa here and an articular surface here this when you hold it okay when you hold it it should be hold it steady so this is the uh, right uh, fibula because i am holding it and the articular surface is pointing forwards and i can easily hold it this is where the lateral malleus is coming so this is the right fibula and i cannot make it as left i'll try to make it left see here i can't even hold it also and the entire articular surface will come posterior wrong this is not the way so it's just the hold it like this right and this thing is the left one you can see easily i can hold the i can hold the malleolar fossa here and the articular surface will be pointing towards the forward side so right and left holding the lateral malleus it's a very important bone vital bone fibula it's very difficult to differentiate